What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna be breaking down the nickel triple defense. Now this is one of the best pressure defenses that I've found up to this point. It's really simple to set up. It's also got some great little uh, positioning for the run. If you're looking to have something that can stop the run as well as the pass, this is a really good defense because it can do a lot uh, with very little resource or very simple uh, coverages that you're gonna have at this. So uh, real quick before we go too far in the video, I wanna let you know about my text message membership. If you've not subscribed or joined that, um, that's my Patreon. It's for my true fans of my channel. If you are committed to getting better at Madden 22, I would highly encourage you to join that. It's just five bucks a month. That's super cheap, and you're going to get 12 exclusive videos every single month that are going to help you get better at this game. Every single week of the month, we're going to release a defensive meta update that highlights um, one of the best defenses in the community. We're going to do an offensive meta update that kind of highlights one of the best offenses in the community. And then we're also going to be doing pro player film study breakdowns. We actually literally go play by play and break down what pros do in tournaments and why they do them, including their offensive and defensive schemes. So if you want to get access to all of that content, I would encourage you to join the True Fan membership. Again, I'm going to put a link to that in the description down below. Now, if you want to get some pressure in Madden 22, the nickel triple is a really good place to start. So basically all we're going to do, you can pick any play from this. It doesn't matter what play you pick. I personally prefer um, just like a cover three cloud is really the one that I like the most. And all we're going to do um, is we are simply going to pinch our defense. As you see here, it's gonna create this little look right here. And we're gonna create this really good little five man pressure off of the right side. Now, when I do this, the one thing I will say um, that I like to do is I really like to try to get these guys to come down just to kind of get them down into the box so that they can play some of these other uh, other routes. But that's pretty much it. And then all you're gonna do is you're just going to blitz the blitz the, all of the linebackers, and then you're gonna crash the line out, just like you see right here. And then what I typically like to do as far as where my user is gonna stand, is I'm typically gonna stand behind this left side uh, defensive tackle. And the snap of the ball, what you're gonna see is we're gonna scream in right off the left edge for instant pressure at the quarterback. Now we're gonna send five and we're gonna get one free. So let me show this to you again. And again, all you have to do is pinch the line. You don't have to pinch your whole defense necessarily. The one thing I will say is if you go with this show blitz look, you see that it's gonna bring this safety down off the edge and then it's gonna bring this guy. The one thing I will tell you that you can do with this is if you um, globally blitz all your linebackers down just like this and then you run that show blitz, you see that it's gonna kind of create this amoeba look the only reason why I like to do this is because then it allows me to kind of bring this guy down off the outside. But as you'll see here, it's not going to necessarily change the pressure. You're still going to send five and you're going to get one free. So at the snap of the ball, uh, you should see us. We're just going to get, we should get one free right off that left edge. As you see, we're able to get easy pressure. So there's a lot of ways that you can kind of use this defense to get easy pressure in this year's game. And honestly, I think the easy one is just to just pinch the line and blitz the linebackers. The problem with that is, again, I don't like how deep these guys are. So if you can at all just bring them down into the box, that would be super helpful for your coverage. Um, in Madden 22, it's really, really important that you do that. But as you'll see here, again, we're gonna send super pressure. We, that's how we got two people free um, at the quarterback. Okay, guys, so now what I wanted to do is I wanted to go over uh, kind of what you're gonna do if your opponent uh, blocks a running back. So I'm gonna block the running back here. And first things first, I just wanna show you the blitz. So if the opponent blocks their running back, um, what you should see is you should see decent opportunity for this to be able to be picked up. As you can see right there, the blitz gets picked up and you know they still have a time to make a read. So what we're gonna do to kind of combat the blocked running back look is we're just going to, again, press coverage. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this slot corner right off the edge and kind of blitz him hot off the edge, just like this. And this is gonna create a six man look. And you're gonna see here that we're gonna get pressure right off that left side edge, as you can see right there. And I think I actually forgot to blitz the linebacker and that was why the running back picked that up. So let me show you this again. And again, the beauty of nickel triple is it's really simple. It really is, there's nothing to it. Um, it's just you know basic blitzing principles and you'll see right here look at that edge pressure just come clean if they block a running back so it's a great defense for you know offenses like gun spread and things like that now I want to show you one other little alignment trick that you can get with this so if I globally blitz all my linebackers and then I just pinch my line twice 
um, and then I'm gonna just basically press coverage. You're gonna see that it's gonna bring the left side backer into the gap and then we show blitz and we're gonna get this unique little look right here. This is just gonna give us a, a six man pressure. This is just another way that you can get some heat out of this. And what you'll see is if they block the running back, you should get pressure off the edge. We didn't get pressure that time, but this is just a little bit of an alignment trick out of the nickel triple. So again, we're just gonna globally blitz our linebacker straight down. We're gonna pinch our D line. Um, and then what you wanna do is you just wanna press coverage to get that linebacker to go down into the gap. And then you're just gonna show blitz. And then basically what's going to happen is you should get easy pressure. I like to kind of hover right in here, snap the ball, and what you see is we're going to get that right edge pressure um, even if they block a running back. So really simple little blitzing scheme here out of the nickel triple. Um, the show blitz feature, I do like the show blitz. And the reason why I like the show blitz is because it allows me to bring this guy right in here down off this edge, kind of bring this guy over. And then what you create is you kind of create this play um, where you can send a lot of pressure with you know very simple little things here. So as you saw right there, we actually ended up getting picked up. But anyway, those are just some ideas for the alignment of this defense. Again, really simple defense, nothing too crazy. Um, pinch the, the simple pinch the defense look um, to me is really good just because what you're gonna see is you're just gonna get this real simple five-man pressure, really easy pressure in this year's game, as you can see right there. And that's probably the best blitz because it's super simple to set up. And then if you need a plus one, all you're gonna do is just drag that slot in like so. And if they happen to be blocking the running back, what you should see is you should get that edge pressure anyway. So thanks for watching this video. And again, if you wanna get uh, access to my date, my really in-depth stuff, my high-level stuff that really goes deep into the game and really shares some really good material, I would encourage you to join my true fan membership. It's for those people that are most committed to taking their Madden game to the next level. So if that's you, I would encourage you to sign up today. I'm going to put a link in the description to sign up for the true fan membership. And again, it's just five bucks a month to sign up for that, but it allows you to get access to my most in-depth material on the meta, on offense, and on defense, as well as how I actually study pro players, what they're doing, why they're doing it, and really taking a look at some film study to really understand why, the, the why behind the what, why the pros do what they do. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you want to join the True Fan membership, there is a link in the description.